When you first start a session, you'll be presented with a simple menu screen. First, select your table and difficulty level. Next, select the blinds at which you're most comfortable. This does not affect the difficulty of your opponents. You can use the Player Mix drop-down to determine what kinds of opponents you want to play against, making them either more passive or more aggressive if you desire. Then select your advisor, who can help you when you're faced with a difficult decision. Finally, enter how many chips you want to start with, then click the Submit button to get started. The buttons in the bottom right corner let you act once it's your turn. If you don't like your hand, you can fold it before action even gets around to you, allowing you to play more hands per hour. Make sure you have Zip to End checked for this to work. If you want to see every hand played out to its conclusion, just uncheck this option. In the top right corner, you can adjust the speed, sounds, as well as exit the game when you're finished. In the top left, there's the Game Options button. Here, you can adjust your advisor and filter your starting hands. This is a great way if you only want to play specific hands that you have trouble with, such as pocket jacks. You can also freeze your position at the table, for example, if you only want to play from the button or from the big blind. Also at the top left is the View Stats button for a quick look at your opponent's stats and your own personal stats. There's also a Get More Chips button for when you want to bring more chips to the table. When the action is on you, you can ask your advisor for help by clicking the Advice button. You can also see the pot odds for your decision. If you want to peek at your opponent's cards, you can click and hold down on their cards to have a look. But don't use this feature too often. Finally, if you want to make notes on a hand or mark it for later review, wait until the next hand starts and then click the Tag Previous Hand button. Then enter a tag, which is a category, for the hand and any notes you'd like to make about that hand. If you haven't done so yet, be sure to get your All Access Pass so that you'll have access to all these great features. Now start training and get ready to ignite your game.